Good morning and welcome to our prayers on the 25th of July. God of peace, whose Son Jesus Christ returned from the dead to become the great shepherd of our sheep, guide us in the ways of peace and mercy. Through Jesus Christ our Lord and Saviour. Amen. And now we hear from the 89th Psalm, reading from verse 20. I have found David my servant, with my sacred oil I have anointed him. My hand will sustain him, surely my arm will strengthen him. No enemy will subject him to tribute, no wicked man will oppress him. I will crush his foes before him and strike down his adversaries. My faithful love will be with him and through my name his horn will be exalted. I will set his hand over the sea, his right hand over the rivers. He will call to me, you are my father, my God, the rock, my saviour. I will also appoint him my firstborn, the most exalted of the king of the earth. I will maintain my love to him forever, and my covenant with him will never fail. I will establish his line forever is thrown as long as the heavens endure. Thanks be to God. Amen. Now we hear from the Gospels. Chapter 6, and from verse 35. By this time it was late in the day, so his disciples came to him. This is a remote place, they said, and it's also very late. Send the people away so they can go into the surrounding countryside and villages and buy themselves something to eat. He answered, you give them something to eat. They said to them, that would take eight months of a man's wage. Are we to go and spend that much on bread and give it to them to eat? How many loaves do you have? He asked. Go and see. When they found out, they said, five and two fish. Then Jesus directed them to all the people to sit down in groups on the green grass. So they sat down in groups of fifties and hundreds, taking the five loaves and the two fish. Looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke the loaves. Then he gave it to the disciples and set it before the people. He also divided the two fish amongst them all. They were all ate and satisfied. The disciples picked up twelve basketfuls of broken pieces of fish and bread. The number of men who had eaten was five thousand. Thanks be to God. Amen. We pray together. Lord, we pray for all those who work to help people in crisis. We pray for those involved in all forms of peacekeeping on the earth today. We think of people like the Samaritans who work with those whose lives feel pointless, who feel things have come to an end. We pray for all those who work in pastoral care, in marriage guidance, for all those who counsel people through times of crisis and uncertainty especially when mental health starts to fail and the world seems to crowd in. We pray for all those who care for others in those professions and callings and locations. We pray for all those who may be having difficulties in relationships, who might be feeling betrayed or neglected or rejected, who feel others don't understand them or have cast them aside those who are broken by hateful words of race or sexism or other words that break them through social media. Lord, as we live in a world that's harder to navigate, we pray for all those who look after our young people and try to make their lives safer online and in schools and colleges. We pray for those who feel alienated and hostile to others, those who feel hurt and harassed, and helpless in our world. Lord, you are the good shepherd. Lord, you are the one who fed others. 
help us to be lovers and to shepherd them and to create places that are safe for them in a world so often full of brokenness. Lord, we place, pray, pray for all those in our church today, on our church communities. We pray for all those in the NHS and nursing homes and hospices. We pray for all those in those caring environments, those who visit people in their homes, district nurses, and those who go house to house caring for people, making sure they're okay and fed and watered and are safe in their homes. We pray for all council services that work in our communities through the house bank and others who have various needs. Lord, may we also pray for our families, our loved ones, those who we care for, and those who we know at times are finding life difficulty. Help us to stand alongside, to pray and support. And so may you, Lord, be our peace, and we pray for peace upon one another, that the peace of Christ may be upon us all now, sustaining and strengthening us. Amen. Now the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen.